Hi, this is Katherine Breaker of Timeless Performer. And today we're doing wonderful artist and galleries. And we have with us as my guest, Ruth Landauer mm -hmm. and her daughter. And her daughter's name is? It's Karen. Karen Landauer. Yes. And they are a mother-daughter team. Correct. And they have a gallery. Am I correct? Yes. And I want to welcome you to my show today. Glad to be here. And you know, I've been representing artists for so many years, probably about 25, 30 years. And so when our friend, uh, Jerry, <laughs> uh, called me and said, I have two wonderful artists that you have to meet, I get really excited. Mm -hmm. And um, I'd like to know how you started your career, Ruth, in and it came to this wonderful relationship with your daughter and partnership with your daughter, am I correct? Mm -hmm. So tell us your story. Well, my story is that um, <clears throat> um, the first part is I spent the last 30 years working in hospice care. Oh, really? As a uh, volunteer director at Houston Hospice. And I, was, I um, retired in May. Um, and that was... Um, that was who I have been for the last few years. At the same time, I always painted. And uh, Was it a hobby back then, Ruth, or was it something to... Because, you know, hospice is such a beautiful organization, but there's got to be some stress there. Am I right? Yes. And actually, for me, it was a way of getting in touch with my being. And a lot of what I, I painted was... Uh, we didn't bring a lot of our art, but I have a lot of watercolors that are all abstract and all about um, color. Some from being in um, places with stained glass windows, mm -hmm. and um, I'd come home with that in my head and then do abstract paintings from that. So they all have some issue, something to do with the kind of work that I did and, um, and the, the me. So I found myself in doing the, the art that I do. Now, you originally are a New Yorker. Correct. And you still have that beautiful accent. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody thinks I'm from New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And actually, I'm from Cincinnati originally. Oh. But uh, I love New York. I love New Jersey. And, you know, I love art. Mm -hmm. And I've been very privileged over the years to be able to work with artists. And it's an honor mm -hmm. to meet such a talented artist in yourself. So how many years did you actually, um, when did you start painting? I started painting when I was in, uh, just finishing high school. Mm -hmm. And this is my story of how I became an abstract artist. Okay, let's hear it. Uh, I was <clears throat> taking a class in oil, in oil painting, and I did this wonderful, I thought, gorgeous picture of a boat on a pier. And took it. I was taking it into the class, and I got out of the car, and I dropped it upside down on the in the in the driveway. Oh no! And so I picked it up, and the left hand corner was all smudged. So I took it in, and I showed it to the teacher, and the teacher looks at my masterpiece and says. That left-hand corner is beautiful. And from then on, I never wanted to paint anything realistically. I wanted to paint it from some other place, like the color or the, or the, the abstract. An abstract painting makes you get involved in a different way. So the boat doesn't have to be the boat, but some image of it has to right. be you know, part of it. So right. that's how my career in abstract art started. And you know... Being in hospice all those years and working with families and working with people, you're really touching the hand of God in a sense, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, so you know that those people are going to another wonderful place. Mm -hmm. My father was, was with hospice. My mother-in-law was with hospice. Mm -hmm. My top production film guy was with hospice. And I have to tell you, I want hospice when it's my time to go, oh. if it's for that reason. Because I feel that hospice does such beautiful work with families and death. 
that it's almost like being on a step to heaven. Ah, if yeah. you think of it that way. Yeah. We have a, a Houston hospice um, is the oldest hospice in Houston. We have our own facility with a beautiful garden. Uh -huh. And one of our patients' families said it was like heaven's back door, right. the garden. And um, Karen actually, when, who you'll meet later, um, right. was, took our volunteer training class many years ago. And one of the things it teaches is exactly what you're saying is to value your life and to look at, at the end of it as an important part of life that will be managed well. Mm -hmm. And the other one is to learn to keep um, your mouth closed more than open because it's more about being able to listen and to be. And I think a lot of my art is about, um, is about that. It's about peace. Peace. Yeah, right. peace. And the colors and... The, uh, and it's welcoming. The mm -hmm. colors make you... I'm surrounded by your artwork right mm -hmm. now, and I feel at peace. Yeah. How did your family accept you as an artist? Um, I was always... Well, my, my twin... I have a twin sister who's an artist. She so, is? Yeah. She's a, she's a watercolor artist in uh -huh. Boston. Be uh -huh. she's a, she, did, she spent her whole career doing that. She's mm -hmm. a beautiful artist. And... Um, so it was always part of our, our, our lives, really. We were always doing Surrounded something with by art. It. Yeah. Right. And always. your parents and must have encouraged it. Yes. And, and, you know, Karen and my son and um, actually my niece are also, we're right. all artists. So is, your, is your husband an artist? No, he's, he's um, an accountant and he's the, <laughs> he's the um, uh, accountant for Landauer Art. Right? So, <laughs> so that's good. So, he right. keeps you guys straight, right? right? He does. He does. And he, so he balances us. You know, we, we, can, we do the art, and then he keeps us in line, and he keeps track of Everything what the numbers playing. look like. So right. that works very well. Well, you know, I work with my husband, too, and mm -hmm. it's beautiful. He has a full-time job, but then after his full-time job, he comes, and he does my filming. He's my, one of my editors, and he does a gorgeous job. And that's an art in itself. Oh, yes. Doing filmmaking and taking the subject matter, today's subject matter, and bring it in, into a piece that you're very excited about oh. when you see the end of it. Uh -huh. And when you think about it, that's what, there's so many ways of being an artist, right, mm -hmm. or a performer, mm -hmm. that that's kind of the way it is. Now, we have some pieces here that, right before the break, I just want you to tell us what this piece is, uh, if you don't mind, and then we're going to take a break. Okay, so this piece, this, um, piece represents what I like to do a lot, which is <clears throat> abstract um, florals or landscapes. Uh -huh. So I don't want to paint the, the roses like they are. I want to paint the color and the background so that this whole um, picture draws you into it. Uh, is this oil? No, acrylic. It's acrylic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and you almost have a little bit of stippling. Or yeah, we ha you can put um, texture stuff, texture right. in it, and then uh, this also texture running over it. And the neat part about abstract, about doing abstract art with acrylics is this can, this can be five different paintings before you finish. And one of the things I like to do is I, I'm a perfectionist, so I'll go back in and perfect one of my paintings and Karen will be looking for this painting she had almost sold and it's not there anymore because I went back in and reworked it. Right. Which is now, on that <laughs> note, yes. how can people find your gallery and do you have a website? Yes, we do. It's landourart.com, right? And... Um, and and we're we're on we're on we're online and Karen Karen when she come when she talks she'll, she'll tell you yeah, all about yeah. it. And on that note, we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back on Timeless Performers. <laughs> <laughs> 